Hello everybody, I'm Right Defense, and welcome back to Okami HD. Where we last left off, we took Okami into the uh, Spirit Tree and got some Power Slashes. And now we've actually saved, or what seems like we've saved, Kamiki Village with this crazy little Spirit Fruit that was hanging from the tree. Oh, and it looks like we got a, a guy? What in the world? I don't remember there being a statue here. Well, whatever. Let's go talk to the villagers. The villagers. Okay, so there's something over there, but I think that's... The villagers probably not on the top of the mountain. I'll just go into town. It's really dark. <laughs> oh, man, I love that flower thing. Oh, they all have the same little uh, animation. Hey, there's a statue here, too. Hmm, it's like the villagers have turned to stone or something. Oh, holy crud! <laughs> not again. Again? That's not one of those smaller monsters that's lurking about, that are lurking about. A roar like that's gotta belong to something much bigger. Let's hurry up and find somebody with a pulse around here. That is a little, little harsh, but I get where you're coming from. Uh... But they all look like they're still stone. Oh, that's a weird tree. It's all black and silhouetted. Oh, I like that one. Eh. Uh, stone, stone. Everyone's stone. Well, can we go into h houses, I guess? What do we got here? Nothing. Alright. Ooh, pots. Yay! Wait, did I get nothing? Aw, oh, man, I heard bouncing. Nah, it would be obvious if we were to do that. Let's try the top of the mountain. Well, wait, let's just try talking to other people. I feel like it would have told us to do something like go to the mountain or go into a house if... Oh, shoot! Are you nuts? What do you think you're doing? I... Uh, it was an accident. How about you, kid? You can... No good, this one's not moving. Everyone here was perfectly fine just a few hours ago. Oh, there's definitely something strange going on around here. The village is back, but what's up with that dark sky? Maybe it's dark outside the village, too. Oh, let's find some high ground so we can take a look. Yeah, see, like that, it would have told us. So now, we go to the top of the mountain. Yeah, it is ominous. You have this great scene where a giant peach falls from a tree. And re oh, there's definitely something strange going on. Yeah, you have a giant peach fall from a tree, bring back a village, and everyone's still stone. Let's find some high ground so we can take a look. Yeah, we know. You told me that like five seconds ago. I feel like Eason's going to be like a Navi. Oh. This is bad. The sun's not even shining. That's a, it's as black as night as far as the eye can see. And not a single village can move a muscle. Oh, villager. Because the village is sentient. <laughs> is it some kind of curse? Did a monster do this? It's not going to stay like this forever, is it? Uh, if only the sun were out to light our way. If you could draw a circle in the sky, we'd have ourselves a sun. <laughs> uh, that's crazy talk, right? <laughs> but I guess that's the... No, that'd be impossible even for a god like you. Maybe we better seek out another brush god for help. Of course, if you have that kind of power from the start, <laughs> that'd be a different story. Oh, well. That's a... Uh... <laughs> that was terrible! Huh, you're not actually trying to draw a sun, are ya? You sure you're trying uh, you sure you're up to the task? <laughs> uh, I, I I promise you I'm better at drawing than that. <laughs> Give me the sun. <laughs> what the <laughs> Well, come to think of it, you your name is Amaterasu. And that's the name of the sun god. So it follow that you'd have the sunrise technique from the start. Hmm, with it, you could even turn night into day. Oh, wow, 
You're no run-of-the-mill god, that's for sure. Are any gods run-of-the-mill? The flowing rush is like, a mu is like music from the heavens. That's a line from one of my grandfather's poems. He felt a skilled artist was a musician of shape and color. Eh, since you're such a great artist yourself, why don't we name your brushwork after that poem of his? It's called Celestial Brush. After all, your brush did bring out the sun. Well, Amy, let's get back to the village. We gotta see if the villagers are back to normal now. I completely forgot he called Amaterasu Amy. <laughs> hmm, who are you? Oh, who are you? That's the question. Oh, uh, fruit? Uh, orange? Village Elder Mr. Orange. A white wolf? Not the one you fought that terrible- Oh, who fought that terrible creature with Nogi? You couldn't possibly be the legendary Shirinui. No, it can't be. That story is a hundred years old. Still, you look a lot like that statue of Shirinui. In the other hand- On the other hand, sorry. <laughs> you don't look quite as smart. Oh! Dude! Oh, she doesn't look like a... Oh, is that like invisible to their eyes? Whoa! No need to growl like that! Can you really understand what I'm saying? Well, I'm not the only... I'm not one to mince words, I just state the facts. Don't call something not smart, fool. <laughs> ah, these idiots. What? I didn't catch what was on that paper. Hmm? What's this sudden chill down my spine? Here they come, Furball. Those are the monsters that's been plaguing these lands. They seek into oh, they sneak into the villager uh, villages and cause all sorts of trouble. I cannot speak today. <laughs> Step aside, Furball. This is a job for my trusty sword, Denkomaru. Oh, whoa, whoa! Oh, snap, Mr. Orange! Did you just throw him off a cliff? Snap! Oh, snap. Oh, wait, ah! Pain! Gods don't like pain. There we go. Woo! Wait, I'm gonna take care of him. There we go. And you should be good. No, not yet. Oh, he was he was already dead, of course. Or she, I don't know. Ooh, 357 yen. Ooh, that brings us over 2,000. Sick. Cool, we, we resurrect, we, we brought water. What's that? Wow, you, you, you get aggressive when you're mad, don't you? Hey, you got yourself, a, uh, you got yourself some praise. And look, see how that dried up spring began flowing again? That's because riding an a uh, ridding an area of monsters restores the god's power to the land. <laughs> People call it divine intervention. The more you restore the land to its natural beauty, the more praise you'll get. It's the source of your power. You people- Oh, shoot! I clicked on the X button and it kept going! <laughs> If you try real hard, your true power just might shine through. But boy, there's uh, there's sure been a lot of monsters around lately, and that Mr. Orange you tossed around up on the sacred deck, uh, looks like he thinks you're a regular wolf. Seems like gods have grown so weak people can't see them anymore. <laughs> oh, uh, Anyway, I, I'll show you around the village. I have a feeling we're in for an epic adventure. This should be fun, Furball. Man, you can talk, you son. What do we get? What is this? You obtained feed bag seeds. Ah, freshly roasted seeds that seed-loving animals can't resist. They just can't. Why, you little devil, look at this sweet grub you found. Hey, wait, this is animal food. Eh, still, we could save it to give to animals. 
Let's use it when we try to approach animals later. Uh, something good might come out of using it right away. I know gods aren't supposed to use creatures in this manner, but what the heck? Let's make an exception this time. Oh, I almost forgot. There was something I wanted to tell you. Whenever you want to check the items you've obtained, just press the play button <laughs> to open the fan menu. While the fan menu is open, you can check and use the items you have and talk to all the many fans you have around the world. <laughs> There's other things you can do there too. The fan menu is your key to a successful adventure. Yeah, because uh, the bad guys are just going to wait while I look at a fan. What was that? What do they do? <laughs> it didn't say. So, I'm just going to cut down everything. Oh, fruit! Apple. I'm just going to cut down everything I see. <laughs> I destroy the sacred spring. Oh, well, I got that. That's cool. Ink. Okay. I hope we can get more ink. I can see the battles probably are going to get way tougher than that. Down the hill! Oh, Mr. Orange! Mr. Oh, shoot! I ran him into fire! <laughs> ah! Dang it! Whoa! Hey, don't show. Hey, don't! Show some respect to your elders! I am so sorry, Mr. Orange. Are you okay? Ah! Right, sure, anyway. Oh, no. Oh, that poor man. How about you? What do you got? Uh, Kamuso. Oh, I feel it. I sense it. Foul beast dwell in this place. Concentrate. Look hard. You see right behind you now. Is he talking in like haiku or so? Oh, shoot. Nope, not today. Nope, die. Oh, we're building up a big combo right now. They're dead. Because I'm awesome. <laughs> Give me everything you got. Everything in your packets. Now. Ooh, 420. <laughs> what was he doing? I, I feel like he's a bad guy. Humans are not witnesses to such battles, but I, I saw. <gasps> the fighting went on for exactly 12 seconds. Mm. Yo, you fight well. I have chosen the path of Buddha, but in you, I sense another power. And I see the path you have chosen is also a path of truth. Oh, we got praise. Yes, praise me. You still okay? <laughs> Great Chirinui, oh no. Do you believe in Shiranui or something? I don't want to ram him again. Okay. Well, I think the video's gone on long enough. Thank you guys so much for watching. It was awesome. We got some uh, good fighting in. And I guess we'll see you guys in the next video. Alright. This is Red Spence. See ya! Hey, this is Right Defense. If you like what you saw today, smack the like button and leave a comment down below. Also, show your support by smashing the subscribe button and ringing the bell next to it to stay notified on any new videos in the future. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.